and welcome back to my channel. Is your Google Classroom organized for distance learning? I'm going to show you how to set it up to make it easy for you and your students to teach remotely. Please give me a thumbs up and a comment down below. It really helped me out a lot. Watch till the end of this video for an awesome free resource for your Google Classroom. So if you click these nine dots, you'll see classroom right here. Click that and it'll take you to a screen that looks just like this. Plus button, create class, and then title it whatever you'd like. For me, I'm going to title mine distance learning. Click create. For your students, when they want to join your class, once you give them the class code, they're going to do the same thing, but they'll click join class right here and put in that class code. And for my students, this is what their distance learning Google Classroom is going to look like. So I welcome them from the front. So they'll click here. And I've organized it by week. They know to click menu of choices. That looks just like what I've given them here. It has appetizer, salad, soup, entree, and dessert. I'll show you what that looks like here. So then they can come into here, click appetizer, and as you'll see here, I'd like them to listen to the chapters that I've read aloud and answer the questions that's listed here by chapters with their comprehension questions here. There are also other reading choices as well that I'd like them to choose on the other days. So they can listen or read a story on Epic, they can read two chapters of their book, or they can take an AR quiz. So those are their reading choices. Salad is going to be math choices. So they have a choice daily of IXL or Khan Academy. IXL, my challenge for them is to get a smart score of 100 and two highlighted skills. And Khan Academy is to complete five assignments and I've given them my class codes to make it really easy for them. Next is soup. And they can either choose reading plus to check off two boxes or to read a scholastic article and then write a summary here and I've dropped in a Google Doc there for them. Entree is writing. So from here they can choose from these choices every day. They can rewrite a song lyrics to make it educational, they can write an informational essay, they can write a fictional narrative, or they can find a quote and journal about it right here. And last but not least is dessert. This is where I'm inviting my students to be creative. And so I've listed four different options and they can choose one for the entire week. They can do all of them. It's really up to them. These are the really fun choices. So Tinkercad, I have a 3D printer in my classroom. So they're really familiar with this. I've dropped down the class code in here to make it really easy for them. I, Challenge for them is to design a 3D object to solve a problem. Another challenge that I've put in here is not technology, but it's to use clean items from their trash or recycling to create a new toy. Another one is writing a commercial script to sell a product and create a video. And the fourth is creating your own board game. What are the roles and objectives and play with others? And then they can tell me all about the choices they made here in this Google Doc. So every week they're going to have another folder. I'm gonna show you how I made each of these. So I'm gonna add on, so create, assignment. I can create a document. I can write whatever I like in here. Go back. I want to make sure that I make a copy for each student so that they can each write in there. This is really important. So my topic needs to be the week that I want. If I want to start making it for another week, then I'm going to click Create Topic and type it in here. So April 6th. And then I will click Assign. So now 
I have the following week going here, and then my item can go in there as well. That is how I am setting up my Google Classroom for distance learning as we speak. Click here to make a copy of my many learning choices that you can put that into your Google Classroom and it's a great way to start your journey for distance learning. Please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below telling me what you teach and where you teach, which state you teach in. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.